Hi, I'm Daniel Fuller from the Mental Life Training Center, and welcome to our daily community meditation, where today we're talking about being like a nursing mother. So in 1 Thessalonians chapter 2, verses 7 through 8, the Apostle Paul says, But we were gentle among you, just as a nursing mother cherishes her own children. Because we loved you so much, we were delighted to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our very lives as well. And so this month in June of 2023, We've been talking about walking in God's best today. We've talked about how Abraham walked with God. We could follow in the footsteps of our father of the faith, Abraham. We can follow in his footsteps, walking in faith, walking in the ways of God. And Abraham, both Abraham and Solomon were told to walk before God, walk before his face. And if, he would do that, if they would do that, then God would establish them. He would establish his covenant with Abraham. He would establish Solomon's throne. And we talked about the connection between the verse in Psalms chapter 8, verse 2, where it says, Out of the mouths of babes and infants, or nursing infants, it says, God would establish strength. He would perfect praise. We talked about in the example where Jesus uses in the New Testament, I believe it's Matthew 21, where Jesus says, Out of the mouth of babes you have perfected praise. That word for praise can also be translated as story. He's going to perfect our story. And notice here how Paul walks, walking in the ways of God. Notice how he walks among the people. He walks gentle, like a nourishing or a nursing mother, nourishing and cherishing the people. Not only sharing the gospel of God with them, but sharing his life as well. And so we're going to take communion over this today. Asking God to just walk in such a way that we cherish the people around us like a nursing mother. Now, tomorrow we're going to talk about, if you read on in this passage, it talks about encouraging and exhorting and challenging like a father to live lives worthy of the kingdom of God. But first, we've got to get this nursing mother part down, walking gentle and cherishing. Let's get started with our daily prayer, and then we'll get into our time of communion after that. Heavenly Father, I pray for everybody who's watching or listening, their families, their friends, everybody connected to them and all of our church and governmental leaders. And I thank you for releasing us from darkness and transferring us into the light, into the kingdom of your dear son. I thank you for your purpose and grace given to us in Christ Jesus before time ever began. And that Jesus was struck down, he was smitten, bruised and pierced and crushed and destroyed, also that you could be on our side, that you could be fighting for us. And I keep asking that you, the Father of glory, would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation so that we would know you more and more. That the eyes of our hearts would be enlightened to know the hope to which you called us and the riches of your glorious inheritance that is in us and the immeasurable greatness of your power to us who believe. The same power that you exercised in Christ when you raised him from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand in heavenly places. Far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. And every name that is named. Not only in this age, but also in the one to come. And you put all things under his feet and made him to be the head of the body. The fullness of him who fills all in all. And Father, I ask you to bless us. And to make your face shine upon us, let us find grace and favor in your eyes. Expand our borders and our territory. Expand our capacity to receive everything you've given us in Christ. And to let it flow through us, that we do good and are a blessing to people all over the world. Send us opportunities to do good and be a blessing today. And help us make the most of those opportunities. Keep your hand on us and help us do today what's right and best in your eyes. And do it with peace and joy and confidence in you. And we ask you to stretch out your hand to heal and do signs and wonders and keep us from evil and pain. Through the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And Father, we're asking for your help today. You've given us this amazing scripture. That we could be gentle among people. We can be gentle with people, just like a nursing mother cherishes her own children. 
Father, help us to walk in this scripture, to apply this to our lives. And not only to share your word, your good news of the gospel with people, but to share our very lives as well. And we think of the night Jesus was betrayed. He took the bread and said, this is my body broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Father, you laid upon Jesus the punishment that we deserved. And by his stripes we've been healed. He was crushed and destroyed by you, smitten by you. So that we could be right and holy and perfect in your sight. All through his one sacrifice. And you raised him up from the dead. And you seated him at your right hand. And you raised us up together with him. And made us sit together with him. And we get this opportunity today. To remember, we've made, been made one with you. Through the sacrifice of Jesus. And so I thank you for this bread and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go and take our bread. Then after supper, Jesus took the cup. He said, this is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood poured out for the forgiveness of sins for many. And it's the forgiveness of sins that released us from darkness. And transferred us into the light. We get to be part of this kingdom of Jesus. We get to have this covenant relationship with you, Father, a partnership with you. And so I thank you for this cup and ask you to bless it in Jesus' name. Let's go ahead and take our juice. All right, so usually after our time of communion, we talk about some health and fitness tips because I think physical exercise is meant to teach us how to exercise our faith. So there's two sides of health and fitness, I think. There's the nourishing and cherishing like a nurse, nursing mother. And then there's the challenging, exhorting, encouraging on the other side like a father. So on the nourishing and cherishing and gentleness side, we got to take a more gentle approach. We've got to nourish and cherish our body. The Bible teaches us this. Nourishing and cherishing our body. Taking a more gentle approach with our body. But then on the other side, we also got to, to challenge and encourage and push to the next level at the same time. Keep getting better. And it's a balancing act that we have to, to master in life. And this goes not just for health and fitness, but pretty much every area of life. But I hope this has been helpful for you today. If you'd like to learn more about any of our programs, you can go to the Abundant Life Training Center.com.